Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello students so yesterday we were looking into uh, the concepts of um, uh, or in our previous class we were looking into the concepts of uh, surface integral and uh, um, uh, circulation uh, of a function around a given curve and uh, things like that. So uh, today we will continue practicing those examples and then uh, if time permits uh, then we will move on to our uh, next topic which is basically uh, Green's function uh, as in our Green's theorem actually. Uh, so uh, Green's function is actually in some other topics. So we will uh, look into Green's uh, theorem uh, in the vector calculus context. Um, so first of all, let's start with our uh, example on, uh, on on circulation. Actually, so our first example is uh, find the circulation of f around around the curve C where f is equals to y i z j plus x k and uh, C is the circle x square plus y square equals to 1 and z equals to 0. So basically here we have to find out the circulation of this function f um, around uh, around a curve C uh, where we have the given function f x y z equals to this. So of course f is a function of x y and z so um, uh, and uh, C is the circle uh, given by x square plus y square equals to 1 and z equals to 0. So basically our curve is in the x y plane and the given equation of the curve is basically a circle. So by definition we know that so by definition of circulation so by definition um, the circulation so since it is a circle which is a simple closed curve um, uh, so any uh, line integral around that uh, along the uh, along that uh, simple closed curve will be circulation so by definition the circulation circulation uh, of uh, f around c is this notation f dot dr so this can be written as where r is basically x i plus y j plus z k. We know that r is always given by this way and therefore from here we will have dr is equals to dx i plus dy j plus dz k right. Now um, here if I write integral over the curve c uh, y i plus z j plus x k and uh, then this can be written as d x i plus d y j plus d z k. Now since we are in the in the in the in the x y plane so z is 0 and uh, d z is 0. So if I substitute z is 0 here and d z 0 here then this will lead to uh, integral over c. Uh, this is 0, this is 0. So, ultimately we will have y dx because on C, be, since on C uh, z is 0 and this implies dz is also 0. So, we will basically substitute z equals to 0 here and uh, dz equals to 0 here. So, we will end up with integral over C y dx. Now, if I substitute x, um, x equals to um, uh, cos theta and y equals to sin theta. So, this is basically um, integral over the curve C. So, in this case the parameter theta would vary from 0 to 2 pi. I am substituting x equals to cos theta y equals to sin theta. So, this is uh, sin theta and then if x equals to cos theta then dx is minus of sin theta d theta. So, this will be minus of sin square theta d theta. So, I can adjust uh, a minus half here and then this will be theta running from 0 to 2 pi 2 sin square theta and then this can be written as 1 minus cos 2 theta 
1 minus cos 2 theta and if we integrate d theta then this will be minus half uh, this will be theta uh, minus sin 2 theta by 2 integral from 0 to 2 pi. So, sin 2 pi is 0, sin 4 pi is 0, sin 0 is 0. So, this will be ultimately minus of 2 pi by 2. So, answer is minus pi. So, this is the required circulation of this function f around this curve c given by this circle. So, circle is a simple closed curve. So, the line integral will be a circulation. So, this is how we calculate the circulation of the uh, function f. All right. Now, uh, we will continue with our examples on uh, surface integral. So, let me write uh, an example, let me write uh, uh, a problem here. So, evaluate uh, integral over the surface S f dot n d s, where f of x y z is given by z i x j minus of 3 y square z k, where s is the surface of the cylinder x square plus y square equals to 6 included in the first octant z equals to 0 and z equals to 5. So, basically x square plus y square equals to 16. So, that is a circle and then you have z equals to 0 and z equals to 5. So, it is a cylinder. Now, if you consider the part which is included in the first octant that means uh, the circle in the first octant and uh, the length z equals to 0 to z equals to 5 at the from um, I mean like like the height of that cylinder. So, whatever lies in the first uh, octant of that uh, cylinder. So, that is the surface S and uh, our given uh, uh, given uh, vector function f is this one. So, first of all if we have a given vector function f, so from there we have to and if we have the surface s then from there we have to find out the normal n. So, a vector normal to the surface we uh, if you remember then yesterday we basically calculated the grad of, uh, grad of gradient of this uh, this x square plus y square minus 16 that is our given sur uh, surface. So, um, a vector normal to the surface s is given by gradient of x square plus y square minus 16 and this will be 2 times uh, uh, 2 times uh, del del x. So, this is basically x i plus sorry y j yes. So, this is the required um, no, normal and from here the unit normal therefore, the unit normal therefore, n cap a unit normal basically unit normal at any point on s at any point on s will be given by gradient of let us say this one was our phi. So, if this one was our phi so grad phi divided by mod of grad phi. So, this is 2 x i plus y j and uh, divided by x square plus y square. Now, x square plus y square is basically 16. So, this will be 2 x i plus y j divided by 4. So, this is x i um, plus y j divided by 2. So, this is our uh, unit normal n. Now, since we have a cylinder uh, which is uh, whose base is x square plus y square equals to 16 and height is uh, 5. So, we take a projection uh, either on x z plane or y z plane. So, if we take the projection on x z plane, so, we have in surface integral over s f dot n d s or let us say n cap. So, this can be written as surface integral over s f dot n 
and if I take the projection on x z plane, so d x d z and then dot product will be n dot j, right. So, this is our required dot product where r is the and uh, this this one can be let us write as s 1. So, where s 1 is the projection or let us call it as r. So, s for the surface and r for the region. So, where r is the region where r is the projection of s on x z plane. So, that is the projection on x z uh, plane and uh, we cannot take the projection. Uh, so, we cannot take the projection of s on x y plane as the surface s is perpendicular to the x y plane. So, we, we simply cannot take the projection because uh, since uh, uh, the cylinder is perpendicular to uh, x y plane. So, if we take the projection then it will be just a circle. So, I mean we uh, we, we exclude that cylinder part here. So, that is why we take the projection either on uh, x, um, x z plane or y z plane. So, that is uh, that and now uh, our n is our n is uh, x i plus y j uh, divided by 2. So, from here n dot j would be uh, just y by 2 and uh, n dot j mod will be simply y by 2 right and uh, f dot n is basically f dot n is our f is given by z i plus x j minus this. So, when we take the dot product, so the k component is 0. So, that uh, will be uh, 0 and therefore, this will be x z plus x y by 2 right. So, this will be x z plus x y by 2 and uh, now uh, x z plus x y by 2 right. So, we have this here. So, this is 4 ok. Uh, so, here I am getting 4. Uh, so, 2 to uh, did I do this calculation correctly? So, this will be 4 x square 4 y square. So, this will be a square root of 4. So, that means 2. So, oh, so there will not be any 2 here. So, just x i plus y j and uh, that means here we will have just simply y. So, this will be just y I am sorry. So, this will be just y and uh, then here we will have x z plus x y. So, when we take the dot product, now we substitute all these values here. So, our required surface integral s equals to f dot n d s which is equals to integral over region r uh, f dot n is x z plus x y and uh, this one will be d x d z uh, n dot j. Uh, so, n dot j is simply y. And uh, now, if we take the projection on R, then this will be uh, this will be integral over the region R. Um, Z will be running from 0 to 5, and X will be running from uh, 0 to 4. Uh, X Z plus uh, X Y. So Y will be 16 minus X square. Wait, wait. Uh, so, this is here 4. So, this is 2 and this will be uh, x square plus y square. So, here it will be 4 right. Yes. So, it will be 4 here and uh, then there will be a 4 here. So, y by 4 this is also y by 4 and this is y by 4. So, this will be by 4 and this is by 4 and uh, next we will have x z plus uh, x uh, 16 minus x square divided by y. So, y is also 16 minus x square d x d z. Now, this can be written as uh, if we simplify then this will be written as z running from 0 to 5 x running from 0 to 4 right in the x z plane and uh, this will be x z divided by 16 minus x square plus x d x d z. So, we did the separation 
uh, so basically the partial fraction and now we can integrate this uh, very easily. So, we basically uh, do the integration with respect to x first and uh, so this one will be x square by 2 and this one will be if we substitute this equals to z. So, that will be just square root of z and all that. So, doing simplification from here is not complicated. So, we will basically at the end obtain uh, 0 to 5 4z plus 8 times dz which is equals to 90. So, this is the required surface integral. Yeah, so here there is a small mix up. So, it is just that uh, here it will be x square plus y square this 2 will come outside and since x square plus y square equals to 16. So, it will be 2 times 4. So, 2 2 will get cancelled. So, we will obtain simply 4. Yeah, sorry about that mix up and then when we take the dot product. So, then this will be y by 4 and this will be x z plus x y by 4. So, ultimately they get cancelled. So, they really do not affect anything. It is just that uh, yeah, we have to be a little bit careful and now substituting y equals to 16 minus x square and uh, here also then we do the partial fraction um, and then this is ultimately 19. So, this is how we calculate the surface integral uh, of a given uh, surface integral of a given um, function f uh, whose um, surface s is given by that uh, circle and cylinder. So, that was uh, another uh, interesting example. We can consider um, an another example on surface integral before we move to the Green's theorem. So, another example evaluate where f is equals to y i 2 x j minus z k on s and s is the surface of the plane 2 x plus y equals to 6 in the first octant. cut off by the plane z equals to 4. So, here we have a given equation of the uh, fun of the uh, given um, how to say equation vector function actually and s is the surface of the plane in the first octant uh, cut off by um, the plane z equals to 4 right. So, that is the given equation of the surface. So, now uh, first of all, we will calculate the normal. So, a vector normal to the surface S is given by uh, let us say n equals to gradient of 2 x plus y minus 6. So, this is ultimately 2 i plus j and therefore, from here our unit normal is n by mod of n. So, this will be 2 i plus j square root of 5 right. So, this is our required uh, normal uh, unit normal actually and uh, the given surface integral s can be written as. So, since uh, we have to take a no, we have to take a projection. So, in this case also we take the projection either on x z or y z plane. So, we cannot take the projection on x y plane because the surface s is uh, uh, because the surface s is perpendicular to the x y plane. So, here we take the uh, surface integral uh, and uh, we take the projection. So, that is the region r where the projection will be uh, f dot n and d s will be d x d z divided by n dot j. So, now uh, n is given in this fashion. So, n dot j would be our n dot j would be 1 by square root of 5 right and uh, f dot n would be f dot n would be um, 2 y 
plus 2 x divided by square root of 5 the k component is 0. So, dot product uh, after taking the dot product the k component will not occur here. So, that is what we will get f dot n and that is what we will get uh, as n dot j. So, we substitute everything here. So, it will be let us say let us say i s i s is our sub surface integral. So, over the region r f dot n is uh, 2 square root of uh, 2 by square root of 5 uh, y plus x times uh, so it is y plus x times 1 dx dz divided by 1 by square root of 5 right. So, square root of 5 square root of 5 will get cancelled and uh, this will become 1 by uh, sorry uh, 2 times uh, in, uh, integral over the region r y plus x dx dz. Now, y can be written as over region r y can be written as 6 minus x right. So, here where is that? So, our y is 6 minus 2 x actually. So, this is basically 6 minus 2 x plus x times d x d z since uh, 2 x plus y equals to 6 and now this will be 2 times integral over the region r 6 minus x times d x d z. Now, uh, x um, if we take the projection on x z plane then in x z plane basically y is 0. So, x will vary from 0 to 3 and z will vary from 0 to 4. So, I can write the integral as uh, x varying from 0 to 3 and z varying from 0 to 4 6 minus x dx dz here there is a 2 and uh, we can integrate with respect to z first. So, it will be 2 times 4 and then we integrate with respect to x. So, this will be 6 minus x times dx and uh, so this will be 2 times 4 it is 6 x minus x square by 3. So, this is 6 times 3 minus uh, 9 by 2. So, ultimately it will be 108. So, that is the required surface integral. So, like this uh, you, you can practice many more examples where uh, you have a given vector function. So, you take the projection on uh, x y plane, y z plane or z x plane you have to find out the normal n which is perpendicular to the surface and then everything is just uh, doing some simple calculation. So, after doing the projection you get to know what is the limit for x or y or z depending on your projection and then just perform the integration. Uh, it is um, it's from then on onwards it will become very simple. So, um, I will uh, move to our next topic because I think we have uh, practiced uh, uh, enough uh, examples on surface integral. And uh, next we will move to our next topic which is basically Green's theorem. So, Green's theorem states that let R be a closed bounded domain or closed bounded region closed bounded region in the x y plane whose boundary C consists of finitely many smooth curves. Smooth curves and let m and n be the continuous functions of x and y having continuous partial derivatives. continuous partial derivatives del m del y and del n del x in R. Then, so basically then surface int uh, int uh, integral over the region R del n del x minus del m del y 
d x d y is equals to circulation over the closed curve C m d x plus n d y, where the line integral where the line integral being taken along the entire boundary C of R such that R is on the left side as one advances in the direction of integration. So, basically R is a closed bounded region in the x y plane and suppose we have two functions m and n which are continuous functions of x and y which has continuous partial derivatives del m del y and del n del x in R. Then if we if it has continuous partial derivatives then we can write del n del x minus del m del y dx dy is equals to line integral over the curve C m dx plus n dy where the line integral is taken in such a way that when you walk along this curve C then your your region r will will always be on the left hand side so that means it uh, you always have a anti clockwise direction so you the way you are walking along the boundary c is uh, such that uh, the region r which is being closed by uh, the by the boundary uh, by the curve c is always on the left hand side so that means you always walk along uh, how to say along, along the anti clockwise direction and uh, this is what this theorem says and uh, all you need to have is that uh, m and n should have uh, continuous uh, partial derivatives of order 1 and then uh, this identity would, would hold. So, um, we can actually verify this identity it is also one of the important theorems in vector calculus and uh, we can be able to verify this um, by using some uh, by using some formulas and uh, some some calculus calculus results. So, uh, I will stop here for, uh, for today and uh, in the next class uh, we will work out one or two examples on Green's theorem and uh, we will see how it is uh, how it is being uh, solved. So, thank you for your attention and I look forward to you in your next class.